But wait, there's more. And there you go. You want to pet her? This is Natasha. She's a she's a 50 pound rainbow. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't dream, okay? Another type of knot is the mountain climbing. How do you tie a knot up after the mountain sea and climb up? Shoot it up. The mountain slants this way, you shoot it that way. You have a very high mountain, roll it all the way up, but make sure of one thing. Hit the rope. <laughs> Over here is Skippy Lamour. Skippy Lamour was Harry's stage manager. Oh wow! And uh, the famous Blackstone story where he got all the people off of the out of the theater that was burning. burning that was Skippy. Uh, he's the one that was in charge of that, evacuating the people and everything. And about four or five hours after that was over, he had a heart attack and died. No wow. kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now we come to the big man himself. Harry Bouton. Of course, Harry Bouton was the family name of Harry Blackstone. Now, on the other side, what's it say there, Al? Peter Bouton. Peter Bouton, Harry's brother. And on this side, Harry Bouton III, although he's not buried here. But his name is there, too. I told you that Inez wasn't buried here, either. Right. But it, that's why it says, in memory of, Inez is really buried in Florida. Mm -hmm. Now, the third is Harry Jr.'s that's son. That's Harry Jr.'s son, yeah. Is Blackstone their legal name now, or do they still use Bhutan? No, Blackstone is the legal name. Hmm. Yeah. And it's interesting the way Harry got the name. He was in Chicago, working at the Chicago Theater. <coughs> they were trying to decide on a new name for him, and he looked out the window and saw the lights beaming on the Blackstone Hotel. So he says, that's a good name. So it became hmm. Blackstone. And my goal is to pass the ring through the knot. Okay, 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 okay. I try to do better, that's better. So the ring is really through the knot here. Yeah, I do, I try to do in a, in a, in a difficult way. So you can see the hands, you can see that the middle of the rope, you can see the ring, the ends, the middle of the rope and the ring. And the ring is on. Well, to, to complicate everything, I use another ring. Well, two rings, one white and one black. Now, there is no magical way to take away the ring. For example, this is no magic, just to pull off the ring, that's no magic. Let's put it back. Uh, would you like to select, please, uh, black or white? Black. Black. Okay, we leave black in the rope and take out the white. Watch, the half dollar invisibly transfers from one side to the other, just like that. We'll do the hard coin. The British penny has to travel across the diagonal of the square a long distance, just like that. That's three coins in one corner, one coin in this corner. Watch as that last coin makes its way over with the other ones, invisibly, sort of like that. Watch, there's one more thing. The best part of the trick is to watch those coins as they magically travel back through space. Three coins immediately become only two, just two coins, as one coin travels invisibly. I'll do it two more times, watch closely, we've got one, we've got two, a little squeeze, and only one remains. Gil, turn over the card if you would, take a look, there's the coin, it's traveled back invisibly as you watch. There's one last coin to go, that's the half dollar, watch as it melts through the card and reassembles on the other side. Back. 60 years ago, what was the town of Colon like? Do you remember how it's changed or has it changed? Well, it's a bit larger than it was at that time. And uh, they have twice as many police now. They have two. I pray to be the only ventriloquist, stronger soldier of this. 
I didn't have a drop. Not a drop. Not a drop. How come you're pulling my tail instead of the string? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I enjoyed it. I'm going to endeavor. <laughs> from all at one time. Learn what a case of the uglies this one has. She looks like a tossed green salad in heat. <laughs> You're giving me funny looks. You got funny looks that I didn't give to you. <laughs> Ann Dixon has been my friend and my confidant for many years. Now, I know a lot of you haven't seen him do, uh, do his Believe Me Chub. But uh, in his Believe Me Chub, it is just terrific. And he's uh, not only a good guy, but in his Believe Me Chub, he does some beautiful magic. Uh, to give you an idea, uh, <laughs> the type of stuff that he does, sometimes he uh, comes out and produces flowers. And uh, he does some big tricks. He does some small tricks. And he does. Uh... Oh, oh, well. Wow. All right. Anyway. Uh... Okay, good. Get out of here. I'm gonna take the box. I'm gonna place the box, move the box over the face like that. The magic has happened now. Take the box very close to what you want. You can put the far out there. I just left the wallet if you don't mind. Right? Just like so. I don't care how you do it, just put it out, please. I'll zip the wallet. You'll notice there's an envelope inside. We just take the envelope out. I'll take the wallet. 